kind of cloudy all of a sudden. Yeah. When did you get that tattoo? Oh, yeah. Like, your, your hair is a little shorter. And I got a new necklace. Oh. Well, it's been a year since we shot the first one. I still can't believe you got me to do this. And? <laughs> and I'm totally hooked. I am a little bummed it took me this long to come here. Well, you just needed the right nudge. Is that what you call packing my bag and dragging me out the door? A nudge? Well. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, you couldn't convince John to come too? I tried to convince him to come, but he was dead set against it. I don't think he'll ever show up. He didn't even understand why I wanted to be here. Does he not trust you? Or? No, it's not that. I think it's more about insecurity. No, not many people know this about him, but you know, he's really concerned about his body. Oh, I, yeah, I wouldn't have guessed. No. It's borderline crippling. Well, I mean, all the more reason to come, right? Try to get over it. Gee. There's no way. In his mind, places like this are more about sex and hooking up. No. The only place he thinks you should be naked besides showering is when you're having sex. Oh, it's ridiculous. But I think that's pretty common. I think most people can't really distinguish between sex and nudity. It all sort of seems like it goes together. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, do you think you could explain it to him in a way that he'd understand? I mean, I can try. I would love for him to be here, but you know, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Fair enough. Well, we won't let that ruin our weekend because we're here to have some fun and be comfortable in our own skin. Yes? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <gasps> hmm. So, are you ready for the hot tub? Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's in store for the rest of the day? Literally, whatever you want. Hmm. Well, what do you suggest? Well, there's a lake, beautiful beach, and volleyball courts, mini pet, saunas. Um, there's yoga happening later, and tonight we'll have a campfire. Oh, and you know what we should do for dinner? We should cook on one of the charcoal grills on the front lawn. That would be a hoot. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> but first, we have to jump into the pool. No, what? No, no, I'm so nice and warm. It's such a rush jumping in a freezing cold pool after you've been sitting in the hot tub. Come on, let's go. Come on, girl. What's on the agenda for today? Um, we'll check out is it noon, uh, but we're allowed to stay in the park until seven. So I figured we'd grab some breakfast and then pick up our stuff and spend the rest of the day bumming on the beach and floating in the lake. How do you do that? Do what? Read my mind like that. Girl, who wouldn't want to float in a lake all day naked? <laughs> oh shoot. What's wrong? Oh, I forgot to plug in my phone and now it's dead. 
Okay, well, what do you need your phone for? Well, we might get an offer on the house, and if we do, John's going to try to get a hold of me. Oh, all right, well, plug it in now, and we'll just come back and get it later. Like, what's the worst thing that could happen in the next few hours? Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, don't stress out about it, love. We'll get some food, and then we'll go and have some fun. Okay, but first, can we just run into town? I need some sunscreen. No, they sell sunscreen at the front in the store, so we don't have to go anywhere. <sighs> this place is amazing. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Uh, voicemail. Leslie, why don't you pick up your phone? Well, fine. And I can't believe I haven't felt self-conscious at all. No one's noticed any of my imperfections. First of all, there are no such thing as imperfections because nobody is perfect. We're all unique and that's why no one has noticed anything. And secondly, this place isn't like that. Okay, so for me, I choose not to remove any of my body hair, even though I'm a lady. And here, unlike the basement dwelling trolls on the internet, nobody cares or demeans me for it. I don't think I'll ever understand why more people don't do this. Well, it's like your husband, right? Some people are just so caught up in the lies that were told by society and in the media that we don't want anyone to see what we think is a flawed body. It's really sad. And also, I think a lot of people think it's a giant sex party, which as you have clearly seen, it is not. <laughs> here for a visit? Uh, no, I'm just here to, to find my wife. Okay, no worries. Is she meeting you at the front? Uh, no, she doesn't really know I'm here. I'm just, um, I know she's, I know this is where she is and I just need to talk to her. Okay, well just come up to the left and park in front of the office and come inside and we'll go from there. Uh, okay, I can't just look, go look for her? No, uh, you have to come up to the office first, please. Okay. Okay. Are you here for the day? Uh, nope. I'm just looking for my wife. Oh, uh, have you been here before? Uh, yeah, no. Absolutely not. Well, you are welcome to go look for her, but I just need you to fill out a little bit of paperwork, watch a little video, and then you'll be good to go. Um, okay, uh, can you, can you not just page her for me? Uh, unfortunately, we don't do that, but, uh, if you watch the video, then I can let you into the park. Um, yeah, uh, okay, that's fine. Um, I'll also need you to fill out this paperwork here, and I'll also need to get a copy of your ID. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I just need to find my wife, I just need to speak to her. Uh, I'm sorry, but that's the rule. That's how we keep track of who goes in and out, and how we're able to keep Bear Oaks a safe and welcoming place. <sighs> fine, whatever. If you want to just go over to the table over here, I'll put the video on for you. Thank you. 
here you go. Uh, perfect, thank you. I'll give you this wristband and you'll be good to go. Oh, great. Oh, you do plan on taking your clothes off, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry, but as you saw in the video, we are not a clothing optional place. If you want to walk around and enjoy the amenities, we will require you to take your clothes off. Uh, seriously? Those are the rules. It helps everyone feel like they're on the same level and everyone more comfortable all around. Look, I'm just here to talk to my wife. I'm not staying for anything. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to walk around clothed. Okay, this is, this is ridiculous. Can I at least get undressed in my car? Yeah, you can undress by your car. Great. I never want to leave this place. <laughs> <gasps> well, we can go as often as you like. In fact, next weekend, we're going to come with the kids. They do a family event and they have like all sorts of activities for the kids, crafts and tie dye and pudding wars. And it's, oh, it's so much fun. They do such a good job. So anyway, you should bring the kids next weekend. They'd love that. Oh, they would love it. Yeah, they would. Yeah. I just have to convince Dawn. Oh yeah, I guess so, hey. Well, we don't have to stress out about that right now. Do you want to go float? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Leslie! Leslie! Ugh, damn it. John? Roger? What the hell are you doing here? Wow, I've been coming here for years. The wife and I are always here. We love it here. It's almost like we own the place. Have you been coming long? Well, I don't actually come here. Oh, well, why don't you come back to the trailer later? We're, uh, we're cooking up sausages. Sausage? No, rain check. Thank you. Okay, see ya. John, what are you doing here? Well, I really had no choice but to come here. The real estate agent has an offer for us and your phone's been turned off. I can't get in touch with you. I, quite honestly, what are you doing here, Leslie? This is wrong. Look at all the, the young families and these poor children. John, I am thinking about the kids, especially ours. I'm thinking about what it would be like for them to grow up not ashamed of their body, you know, to know what a real human looks like, a real body looks like. What's so wrong about that? What have you seen today that has been inappropriate? None, I, not I guess, but how can you be comfortable being naked around all these strangers? Because none of these strangers are judgmental. I feel accepted for what I look like and who I am. I've never felt so comfortable in my own skin. Have you felt uncomfortable the whole time you've been here? Well, when I got here I felt so uncomfortable. And then? And, and then I got naked and I started to blend in and I, 
I guess when I had clothing on, I people were staring at me, and, and uh, you know what? I've never, I've never felt so comfortable. Okay, well, why don't you two call your realtor, and then let's enjoy the rest of this day in the sun and end this weekend with some new shiny membership. Let's do it. There's a fire in my heart, it burns. Yeah, I'll live and learn, I'll wait my turn. Looking out on the city frame and dreams that I've made.